Hello to all my lovely ladies and gentlemen out there. My name is Claudine and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a very quick review of the MZ Wallace Large Sam Cosmetic Bag that you see right here. This was a video that I actually had no intention of filming because when this particular cosmetic bag was released by MZ Wallace, it was initially going to just be a free gift with purchase in store only or a purchase that you can make over the phone at one of their local boutiques in New York. Over the weekend during their 12 days of joy that's been going on these last few days, I happened to get on their website and I don't really know how I stumbled upon it, but I ended up doing a search for Sam. That's how I stumbled upon it. I, sometimes I, I don't think, but that's okay. We're not gonna cut this because I think it's kind of funny. Laugh at my expense, guys. Um, so I did a search for Sam and saw that this was on there, which was a pleasant surprise because I think it's a beautiful, unique print for MZ Wallace. You know, obviously they offer solid colors, they offer stripes, they offer polka dots, they offer florals around Mother's Day, but a city print like this, it's the first time that I've ever seen anything like this. So I figured it would be catching a lot of people's eye on the website and may prompt people to come to YouTube to see if there is a review on it so that they could get a better idea of this particular item versus any kind of stock photos that are available on the MZ Wallace website. So so I wanted to put this quick video together so that if you were one of those people that are interested in this cosmetic, you can get a better feel for its size because what I will also be doing is comparing this item to the large and small Mica cosmetic bags that MZ Wallace offers. So if you are interested in this cosmetic bag, just keep on watching. Here is the MZ Wallace large Sam cosmetic bag. It measures nine inches in length. 6.2 inches in height, three inches wide, and retails for $75. The background color here on this piece is Dawn, and obviously we've got the city print going on here, New York City. I mean, I don't think they specified it, but it's MZ Wallace, New York. It's gotta be New York. That looks like the Freedom Tower to me, right guys? New York. If you look at it up close, the hardware is silver. Over here as well, you'll see silver hardware, the MZW on the end of the leather pole here. You've got this nice little handle here, which is great. A pleasant surprise to me when I got this bag, the print is on the back side as well. I didn't expect that. So like I said, it was a very pleasant surprise. Another thing actually I didn't expect with this item was its size. I hadn't purchased a Sam yet since they released this particular cosmetic style. And when I saw this one come out, I just grabbed it really quickly, very much an impulse purchase. And when it came in the mail, I was like, good Lord, is this huge? And I didn't know that there was a large Sam. I honestly think this may be the first one. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know if you're more versed and familiar with the Sam cosmetic history sizes and all that, hit me up in the comments down below, let me know. But I think this is the first time they released a Sam that is now called the Large Sam because when I ordered it, like I said, it was an impulse purchase. I didn't realize that it was going to be so big. And, you know, maybe had I noticed that there weren't two zippers here because the Sam typically has two zippers for two different compartments, I would have paused a little more and, you know, realized like, hey, why is it different? And then maybe realized, oh, the dimensions are a bit larger. But with that being said, you know, obviously I'm okay with it because I do love this print and think it's really nice and unique. And obviously when I purchased it, had I thought like, hey, it's $75, the Sam is typically, I think 45 or 55, why is it more? Or maybe I kind of subconsciously said, it's a nice, fun, unique print, they've upped the price a bit, but whatever. Just keep in mind that this is a large Sam cosmetic. If you're expecting the Sam to be same to the one that you may have already that has the two zippers, this is going to be larger. I'm gonna open it up and empty out. I've got another item in here just to kind of help stuff it, pack things inside each other. You will see that it's just one big compartment with a interior zipper right here. It's a pretty sizable compartment right there. And that is pretty much it to the look of a large Sam. I don't know if I showed you the MZ Wallace diamond logo here. It's on the side with the large Sam. I can't tell you where it is on the other Sam because I don't own it yet, but I'm hoping they will be releasing 
that smaller size at some point and that I will add it to my collection, um, but it just hasn't happened yet. If you're curious how the large Sam Cosmetic compares to other items from MZ Wallace that are also considered cosmetic bags, I do have a couple here from my own personal collection that I'm going to be comparing it to. And we will start with the large Mica. And this is it right here in the rose gold metallic. I'll compare the measurements. These are the numbers that the MZ Wallace website does provide for each of these items. So looking at them right here, the length on large Sam is nine inches versus 9.5 on large Mica. Height differences, 6.2 for Sam and six for Mica. Width wise, we've got three inches for large Sam and four for Mica. And the layout of both of these cosmetics are pretty much the same. Mica's the same thing. Let me double check, confirm if my memory serves me correct. Yes. One large compartment with one zipper. So you're getting essentially the same size, I would say, as far as a pouch is concerned. I mean, obviously there are minor differences from the numbers that I just rattled off to you, but for the most part, I would say they're pretty even. And at this point, it would just kind of be a personal preference as to which style you prefer. Um, while we're here, I'll show you the bottom. And I didn't show you the bottom of Sam when I did the initial tour, so my apologies for that. But this gives you an idea of what it looks like from the bottom for each one. And as you can see, the diamond on the mica is at the bottom, whereas with Sam, it's on the side. Zipper pulls here. And this one's got the little um, handle, I was going to say hook, but handle I think is the better uh, word here. This one does not. So that is pretty much the difference between Large Sam and Large Mica. Another cosmetic bag that I wanted to compare the Large Sam with is the Small Mica, and it's going to look like the Teeny Mica next to this. Look at that. <laughs> And to be honest, I'm telling you, when I ordered this Sam cosmetic bag, I thought it would be maybe a little bit bigger than this. So obviously imagine my surprise when I saw the size of it. And uh, yeah, again, I mean, it's okay. It is what it is. Um, but I totally thought it would be kind of more along the lines of this particular size so that it would then complement the large mica that you just saw because of the city lights on the print. You know, I thought it would complement the rose gold nicely, but I can certainly use these two together when I need to be packing more and need two large pouches. But back to the uh, point here of comparing these two. So let's see, as far as measurements are concerned, again, length of large Sam is nine, length of small mica is 6.4. Uh, the height of Sam is 6.2, height of small mica is 3.9. And then width-wise, we've got three, like I said, on the Sam and 3.3 .3 on small mica. So according to MZ Wallace, this one is technically wider. I don't see it, but I'm not going to question them. I mean, obviously they're making these measurements probably when they're stuffed and not like weirdly stuffed the way mine are. But um, yeah, apparently this one's just a smidge wider than Large Sam. So if you have the small mica in your collection, as you know, this is the Starlight print that was wildly popular. This particular um, item sold out very, very quickly in this print, um, but it is available in other colors, including the rose gold that you saw. Um, my large mica in. It's also available in, in the small, although I think it is sold out now, but perhaps you could find it at other department stores or retailers that carry MZ Wallace. Um, but point is, um, when we're comparing these two styles, you can see that the small mica is significantly smaller than the large Sam. Now for the grand finale of the video, we've got all three cosmetic bags side by side. This is by no means a good or accurate way of showing them to you for comparison purposes, but since I just had them all out now to compare, I'm just throwing them side by side like this just to give you an idea of how they look. And you know, in filming this video, I'm thinking that it wouldn't be a bad idea to compare large mica with small mica right here. So stay tuned. Perhaps there will be a video coming comparing these two beautiful pieces in the near future. 
But as far as this particular video is concerned, we have reached the end. So if you were considering the large Sam cosmetic back in the city print, I am hoping that this video did give you some more information on this particular item, give you a good idea of how it compares to the large and small mica in the event that you do have those already in your collection. And we're considering adding this to complement the pouches that you do have. If you did like this video, please make sure to give it that thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. Ding the bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video because I would love to have you back. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.